Beatlemania has ceased to be a phenomenon and seems to have become a way of life. When the quartet with hair like unmade beds arrive in the Netherlands, it's the same story as in Britain and the U.S. People who value their sanity head for cover and let the teenagers take over. The Beatles find it safer to take to the water as they tour the canals through lines of cheering fans. These, incidentally, are not the real Beatles. There is a substitute drummer in the quartet, for Ringo Starr is ill. It's an illness his fans take to heart, even if they run out of room on the sign. Some swim for it to get closer to their idols, and the police pull a lot of queer fish to safety. No one has had a more triumphant appearance in Holland, with the possible exception of the Queen. Later comes the inevitable climax to any Beatle visit, their performances before sellout audiences. When the Beatles get going, it's a question of who puts on the better performance, the quartet or the audience. To say they get carried away is putting it mildly, for it actually happens here. Fourteen of the fans fainted. It takes all kinds, the man said, to make up a Beatle audience. The team is due back in the United States within a few months for another series of appearances. But don't worry about tickets. They were sold out within hours after they went on sale. Their musical notes are dollar signs. 